homie, I am on. Homie, I am on. Everything come together looking like it's Voltron. I'ma get it while I'm here. Couldn't get it when I'm gone. Yo, what up? It's your boy Kevin Paler. Back to you with another Rocket League update video. We're finally getting a look at the blueprints and a little bit more information as to what is to come in these next couple weeks. We don't have a specific date, but let's go through this article real quick and see what Rocket League has in store for us. So, of course, they're showing the Titanium White Zombie on the blueprint, one of the most sought after items. <laughs> uh, so let's read through this. Um, I'm just story time. Story time with Kevin Paler. Hi, I'm I'm him <laughs> with a blueprint coming up next month. It's time to get into specific on what's coming to your Rocket League inventories on the day of the update. We got the blog last month and they told us the blueprints are a new type of drop um, and they can show you exactly what you're going to get. So there's two type of blueprints. There's revealed and unrevealed blueprints. The revealed blueprints are going to be the blueprints you receive from playing a game. So like now you get crates after playing a game, you get, you know, items after playing a game, you're going to get a blueprint that's going to show you a specific item um from a specific crate or a series of crates the unrevealed blueprints are the crates that we have in our inventory right now right the second from you watching this video all the crates that you have in the inventory right now when the update comes and goes live those are going to be quote unquote unrevealed crates which is kind of silly but that's just how they're doing it. You could choose to reveal it. You could choose not to reveal it. I don't know what the benefit of not revealing it would be, but um, it, it costs nothing to reveal it. So it's like you're opening the crate and seeing what you would have gotten. So the big thing is this player to player trading. So we know our community enjoys the freedom of trading items with other players. We're pleased to announce that items will still be tradable as they have been in the plat in the past. Um, there are going to be a few exceptions. Uh, the revealed blueprints and items from the blueprints will be tradable. And I know that was a big question, at least for me, um, as well, free drops um, and tradable items from your inventory prior to this system. Um, but those unrevealed blueprints that I mentioned earlier, they will not be tradable. Um, again, not sure what <laughs> the point of the unrevealed blueprints are, but it is what it is. And then credits will be tradable. So I did a little bit of research as well on this credits, and I'm, I'm pulling up the Reddit for you where they mentioned it. Uh, keys will be converted into credits they don't have a conversion rate yet but they they will be converted um we'll find that out later on so things that are tradable are the revealed blueprints the items from the uh built from blueprints uh those credits free drops um and then tradable legacy content um i had to do a little bit of research because i wasn't sure what the heck tradable legacy content was but um i went back to the old article and i guess items that are going to be purchased through the shop are considered legacy crate content. And I think it's going to be like older items because uh, as you can see, it said something about the titanium white dominus. It said the legacy crate and then it said also the titanium white dominus. So I think that's separate from the legacy crate. Um, Rocket Pass items, of course, are still going to be tradable as well as in-game event items. Stuff that aren't going to be tradable are the credits. If you're trying to trade with other credits, which again, I don't know why you would do that. Like I can't give you two credits for one credit, but who would want to do that? Um, you can't trade credits for nothing. You have to have an item kind of like how keys are now on Xbox. I can't just give somebody keys. They have to give me a crate or something like that. Um, and all the rest is kind of self-explanatory. So they go on to explain about the decryptors. Decryptors are going to change as well. You're not going to have decryptors anymore. They're going to change into these bonus gifts. And these bonus gifts are going to contain items from the Vindicators crate, uh, which is the newest crate, and also um, something called the Revival series, which is going to be, uh, it says it's going to bring back some fan favorites. And so I'm guessing like Zombas, Voltaics, stuff from like the Player's Choice crates, stuff from like the CC1, CC2 crates that, you know, if you're a newer Rocket League player, you never got the chance to open that. Um, as well as they go on on to explain about the trade-ins trade-ins are still going to be available as long as they're items from you know you get after a game so your rare toppers like the halos and the stegos and all that stuff you could trade those up to get the um the rare stuff like the drink helmet and the zeta wheels and then you could trade those to get the non crate very rares like the pizza banner and the lightning boost and then you could trade those up to get your painted octanes and stuff like that as well as when you 
get something that you don't want, like a painted venom, you could trade those up and get um, your dices and your velocities and all that stuff. Um, but word. So in the Reddit, they some people had a couple questions. Um, what happens to the blueprints from the event series, like golden pumpkins, golden eggs? Those are not going to change. Um, I know some people were curious about that. I don't know why you would be curious about that. Just because of the fact that those are free to get there. And the whole point of this blueprint system is to change the idea of quote unquote gambling. So when they're giving you items for free that you would earn with candy corn that you get from playing, they're not going to change those. They'll still keep those like the golden gifts and everything like that. Um, one of the other questions was pretty much so unrevealed blueprints are essentially the crate and they were like yeah correct um again i don't know why they just mentioned unrevealed they should just have it i guess they're going to still give you the anticipation of opening quote unquote opening a blueprint to see what you got um i think that was pretty much it that they were explaining um let me look through it real quick any confirmation on whether revealed blueprints uh show certification oh so they did note that any blueprint that you get will show you whether it's certified painted or special edition so that's pretty cool uh you'll know ahead of time and then what else did they show um they asked about double painted weekends will will that still be a thing with blueprints and some and um durkin i think that's how you pronounce his name i've seen him on reddit a lot but he said yeah that still should be a thing so you'll get double the chances of getting a painted item from the blueprint um and i think yeah we talked about the one key equals one credit and they didn't they didn't say what their conversion rate is so that might not be the case um we don't have an exact date announced but after reading through that article again they did say next month so we're in november now so maybe holiday december or maybe after the frosty fest events i'm thinking that might be a thing um and i think that's about it so let me know if you guys are excited. I'm actually not too bummed about this blueprint thing. Like I, I enjoyed opening the crates, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun to do the uh, blueprints and just to see what you got. And also for the people who didn't really open up crates, I think it's going to be really cool for you to have all these hoarded crates in your inventory. And now you'll have a chance of opening the crates and seeing what you could have gotten. And if that's something that you really wanted, like if you if you were holding on to a crate that was going to give you striker titanium white zombies and you see that this blueprint can build titanium white zombies for you, you might drop a couple bucks and be like, yo, I'm, I, I, you know, I finally got a pair of titanium white zombies. Uh, I'm curious what it's going to do to the trading market, but we'll see. Again, much love, much appreciated as always, like I say in every video, because I appreciate you guys watching, especially if you watch long enough to hear me say those words. Um, much love. I know I'm a small time guy and there's so many other YouTubers that you could be watching. So if you are watching my channel, I greatly appreciate it. Um, make sure you drop a like and sub. Come back for more. I'll keep coming up with ideas for videos and stuff like that gameplay little funny stuff here and there so uh i i will definitely be on top of it but word peace out guys